Hey guys. I know I look absolutely ridiculous whenever I have the camera on like this because it makes my head look tiny and my chest look huge. Well, my head is not tiny, but you know what? My chest is huge. <laughs> so funny. So I, song, a song popped in my head just a minute ago. Um, I know that I have a lot of friends that are struggling right now. I know that I have a lot of people that are in my acquaintances, in my acquaintance circle that are struggling right now. I know that I'm not friends with everybody that's on my Facebook page, but, um, you know, I see, I, I read things, um, I listen to people, and, uh, I just, I, a song popped in my head this morning, and I felt like maybe I should share that with y'all. I'm gonna sing it a cappella. Yes, I'm going to sing while I'm driving. Imagine that. Uh, who sings while they drive? Definitely not me. I'm introverted and in a shell and, you know, can't sing a lick. So, uh, why would I sing? I don't know. I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, I wanted to tell you that, uh, one of my favorite Bible verses is, um, well, number one favorite, be still and know I'm God. But another one is come to me all who are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest. There is a song several years ago, uh, a long time ago actually, I believe it was in the 90s, my mom went to some revivals at Brownsville, Florida, and she came back and she said, Jesse, you got to hear this song. And this song has, you know, come back to my head several times over the last, um, y'all won't tell you how old I am, I'm old. Uh, <laughs> few years, anytime that something has happened um, where I really needed to feel God's love, this song has popped into my head. Um, I've sung it a cappella lots, lots in the shower, in my bedroom while I'm driving. I've sung it to friends. Um, so anyway, I thought, you know, since it popped into my head and I know so many people that are struggling right now, that I thought I would share it because we're supposed to share things, we're supposed to be, we're supposed to live every day as if it's our testimony. We're supposed to live every day to witness to people. Um, every breath that we have is, should be to encourage people, uplift people, bring them to Christ and let them know that they're not alone. If you have, you know, we should be there to tell other Christians to buck up and know exactly, they know exactly where to turn. Um, look up look up. You know where to look. You know where to go. Pray. If you can't pray yourself, by golly, find a friend who prays and have them pray with you. Um, you know. You know what to do. You know where to go. You know who to turn to. If you're not a Christian and you're lost and you don't know who to turn to, guess what? I know. Stop looking into yourself. Stop trying to find the answers within yourself because you're not gonna. Stop trying to say, I'm so strong and I can do this. Well, guess what? Yes, you can. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. If you will turn to him and understand that he is, he is who you need. Jesus died on the cross for you. Whether you believe in him or not, you are still his child. Um, sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Anyway, uh, for the people that are struggling with unimaginable things the loss of a child, I can't, I can't even, I can't even imagine, I can't, um, anyway, for those of you that are struggling with things right now, um, this, this is for you. Oh, come to me, you weary one, and I will give you burden is light. 
take me upon you I will give you rest come to me you troubled one and I will give you peace I will give you to me you troubled one and I will give you peace I will give you peace I will calm the waters and I will whisper peace be still Take me upon you, I will give you peace. So come to me, yeah, come to me. So come to me, you weakened one, and I will give you joy. I will give you joy. Oh, come to me, you weakened one, and I will give you joy. I will give you joy. You will rise as eagles, and my joy will be your strength. Take me upon you. I will give you joy. <clears throat> so come to me yeah come to me the Lord says come to me I have been waiting for you here I have So come to me, and I will give you what you need. That is from God. That is a promise that he gives to you. I hope y'all have a blessed weekend. I hope that if you are lost and you don't know what I'm talking about, that you find someone that can talk to you and pray with you. I hope that if you're a Christian and you are really struggling through something, I hope that you never lose sight of the one who holds your hand no matter what. I love you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.